Every architectural diagram tells a story. But before it becomes the part of a portfolio or a big pitch, it starts with a blank screen. If you have ever exported something from SketchUp and opened it in Illustrator, you know what I mean. Too many lines, too many layers, too much time spent organizing instead of designing. That's why I have started using Rayon Design to clean up my process. No Illustrator, no stress. In my last video, I showed you how to render a section without Illustrator using Rayon Design. Today, I am taking you a step further. I'll walk you through how to create exonometric diagrams, the kind you see in sleek portfolios using SketchUp plus Rayon. You will see how to export your 3D model, import the file into Rayon, and build the diagram that's clear, minimal, and super easy to edit. This series is all about making your architectural presentation faster and more intuitive without jumping between 10 different softwares. So if you are a student or just starting out with your portfolio, this one is for you. As you can see, I have my SketchUp model ready and I have grouped each floor separately. The ground floor, the first floor and the roof all are in different groups. If you want to learn SketchUp in detail, I have linked my course in the description box below. Now let's export this view Go to the menu bar at the top and set the view to parallel projection and choose isometric. Then go to the file export 2D graphic and select PDF as the file format. Click export to save your file. Now that the file is exported, let's open Rayon Design. On the top right side, you will see the option to import files. You can import DWG file, PDF, JPEG, PNG, and Rayon files here. I'm going to import the PDF file we just exported. Select the file location and open it. You will now be asked to choose the pages to import. I will select the page I want. You can import up to 10 pages at a time. Then click import. Next, you will get to set two points and enter a distance. I know my door width is three feet. So I will mark two points on the door and enter three feet as the distance. And now my 3D exonometric diagram is on scale. As you can see, the exonometric diagram is loaded and looks crisp and clean. Let's go to the layer panel where you will find two layers, PDF geometry and solid fill. I'm going to activate the solid fill layer, select all the elements or children and from the right hand side panel, click detach style so I can edit the solid fills. Now I'm going to import a color palette. On the left hand side panel, click on the three lines, the menu bar. Now import and upload the JPEG file containing your color palette. I've also linked my favorite color palettes in the description box below. You can download them for your architectural illustrations. Once the color palette is imported, I will scale it down and place it near the building. Now, let's start selecting the walls to color them based on the light direction. I'm considering the sunlight to come from the left side, so the right side walls will be darker. Select the walls one by one using Shift plus click. Once the right side walls are selected, go to the fill settings on the right hand side panel Select Solid Fill, increase the opacity to 100%, then use the eyedropper tool to pick the darker orange color from the palette. And just like that, the color is applied. Next, I will do the same for the left side walls. Select each face while holding the shift. Then go to the fill, increase the opacity to 100%, and use the eyedropper tool to select a yellow color from the color palette. Easy and simple, right? Now, let's work on the floors. I will select all the floor elements starting with the side, then the ground floor, first floor and the roof. Again, shift plus click to select them one by one. Once selected, go to the fill, increase the opacity and choose maroon color from the palette. And here we have the flooring colored as well. Look at how vibrant and beautiful the diagram looks. Now, let's set up a page for the diagram. Go to the left panel, Pages, New Page. Set the orientation to Portrait. 
sheet size A4 and set the scale accordingly. So now we have a paper layout ready. Next, let's create the background. Go to the layer panels, create a new layer, named it background and drag it below all other layers. Make sure this layer is active. Then from the bottom toolbar, select the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle that covers whole page. And from the fill, choose a gray color from the palette and don't forget to remove the stroke. To add a graphic element, take the rectangle tool again, draw a smaller rectangle. This time from the fill settings, choose hatch, Hatched grid, set the color to white, increase the stroke size to 4. Look at that, such a cool pattern added so easily. Now let's create another layer, named it as lines. These will show the connection between different flows. Select the line tool from the bottom toolbar and start drawing connector lines. Just one click, then second click and press enter to finish each line. Once done, go to the layer panels, click on the line layer and select all the elements in it. From the right panel, go to the stroke setting, enable dashed line, adjust the scale and the line weight I am setting mine to 2 and choose black color as the stroke color. There you go, clean and professional looking connector lines. Now let's add some human figures and trees to bring the illustration to life. Create a new layer and name it Human Figures and Trees. Go to the library from the left hand side panel and search for Human Figures. You will find Plan, Side and Front View options. Just drag and drop. I will add male figure, a female and a child. Then I will search for trees and add a few. One on the left side two on the right, one smaller and one bigger. You can scale them if needed and place them nicely. Adding these elements make your drawing more relatable and functional. Next, let's add text. Create a new layer called text so everything stays organized here. From the bottom toolbar, select the text tool, click and type. On the right hand side panel, adjust the text height, color and font style. I will just use Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V to duplicate the text boxes, then edit them to label the first floor, ground floor, and the main title, exonometric diagram, for which I will increase the text height. And that's it. Can you believe I created this in less than 10 minutes? So easy, so intuitive, I love it. Now that the illustration is complete, Go to the Pages panel, click on the three dots, choose Export as PNG or PDF. You can check the line weight here and set the name and format and hit Export and your file is ready. So that was the step-by-step -step creating an exonometric diagram in Rayon Design. If this felt simple and fun to follow, that's exactly the point. Architectural diagrams don't need to be complicated. And with the right tools, you can focus more on your ideas and less on struggling with software. In my next video, I'll show you how to turn diagrams like this into a cohesive architectural portfolio, still using my favorite Rayon design. Make sure to like, subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss a future video. And if you have watched this video till end, I have a little gift for you waiting in the description box below. Go check it out. Until next time, happy designing, keep exploring. I am Krutika and I will see you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.